Hi guys, Chris from tripping.com.au. Just uh, pulled over to do a quick intro of what we're up to today. I'm on my way out to Mole Creek, meet up with Sam and Rick, and we're going four wheeling. We're going mini tripping because we don't have time to go on an extended trip, which is pity, but it should be a good day. So Mole Creek's maybe 45 minutes or so from where I am. So uh, I'll uh, hang on a sec. Hello, Chris speaking. Hey, Rick, how you going? Change of plans. Heading to Lake Barrington. I'm actually only about 15 minutes away, so I'll uh, see you there. No problem. Bye. Well, scrap that. Change of plans. We're just heading to Lake Barrington. Can't help feeling that something is up though, so uh, we'll wait and see. What are you guys up to? Hi Chris, um, Rick and I thought we'd set you a challenge today. It's called Camping Chef. You guys have really been watching too much Master Chef, haven't you? We have. You want to check it out? Yeah, what do I have to do? Uh, come and have a look. Hey Sam, what do I have to do? Okay, well I keep hearing rumours that you're a fantastic cook when you're out camping, so we thought we'd test your skills out today. So I've set up some stuff here for you. You can use all the ingredients or only some of the ingredients. So it's completely up to you. So we have some minced garlic yep. or some garlic cloves. It's up to you to choose which you'd like to do. Got some chopped crushed tomatoes here and some mixed vegetables, some red kidney beans, yep. uh, a tomato soup, mm -hmm. standby oil, mm -hmm. some pasta. Yep. We've got some stock cubes. Yep. And we've got chilli flakes and chilli powder because I know you like your kick in uh, whatever you cook. Do I have to use all of that? No, you all only right. have to use a tiny bit if you want. But okay. you can use all if you really want to. It's yep. up to you. <laughs> and um, of onion. course, an onion. So all or some or however you want to do it, it's up to you. Okay. Uh, no problem. Let's do it. So you've got all my kit here. Yes, I have. Um, Rick grabbed it out for me. I was wondering why you guys wanted all that stuff in the back of your car rather than mine. <laughs> but um, let's go. Let's right. do it. Let's do it. Pasta's on. Water's uh, preparing to boil. Hygiene, guys. Some aquium gel. If you've been fiddling around underneath the, your car, jumping in and out, this is the stuff. Put that, some of that on, which is all very important so we don't get sick. Okay. Just winging this, I've got no idea what we're going to do, but we'll have a crack. And, uh, olive oil. Fairly liberal amount, probably too much, but you get that. And what I might use, just because of where we're at, and uh, I want to cheat and get this done quickly as possible, is maybe the minced garlic rather than the fresh garlic cloves. Whack a bit of that in there. 
Oh, do it. Safety seals. We put safety seals on chili flakes. I mean, really. It uh, should be reasonably grunty. I'm not sure if anyone else likes spice, but uh, they threw me into this, so my choice. So hopefully I haven't stuffed that up, but I've just turned this stove off because I've discovered that uh, in their infinite wisdom, that one and that one are not ripped-offs. Lucky, I always have a can opener in the kit. Imagine if you were down the middle of nowhere and your mates had brought cans without rip tops and you did not have a can opener. Imagine how dark you would be. But, like Bear grills, like a Boy Scout, I'm always prepared. So, let's whack that in there. Stupid thing. There we go. Who uses an old style? Cutting can opener, you say? Me? Because that's all I had. No parts to break, nothing to wear out. That'll do. There's one. Start again, guys. Turn this down a bit so I don't burn it. Just trying to fry my spices to release the flavour, not to burn the hell out of them. quite sure what order to cook this in. Just trying to work out what will take longest. It's all canned stuff, it's all stuff that you'd have in your camping kit anyway. That'll take a bit of time to reduce. Change plan guys. This is just a two litre cast iron Dutch oven that I bought from a camping supply store. It cost me about 25 bucks. It's a fairly cheap one, Chinese one, and it works just as well. But what I have found is that you do have to store it with some oil or some spray on canola oil in it so it doesn't rust. If you do that, it'll give you years of service like it's done me and work perfectly. If it rusts, it just seems to taste everything and it's not real pleasant. But, uh, that's frying again. And now I might just whack a lot of this stuff in. Probably won't use that. I probably should. No, done, too late. Just turn that back down again. Throw that in there. The years of camping, this is what I bought from a $2 shop to act as a spatula, a strainer, a spoon. I call it super spoon and it does everything. It's absolutely awesome. And this one has done me for the last six years or so. That's it there, nothing special. Grab yourself one, you won't regret it. <laughs> Whoops. How many are cooking for, Sam? Three. Three? That'll do. My producers will clean this up later. 
That's you, Sam. Uh -huh. Right, I'll leave that uncovered so I can watch what's going on. Right, that's gonna rock. Who spilled all this crap everywhere? Go, mix vegetables next. Not sure why, but uh, this feels right. Guys, uh, should have really supplied some beer to do this, to be honest. Sam, Rick, on uh, A, doesn't usually cook like this in broad daylight, and B, doesn't really cook like this completely sober. And again. Those beans. Might chuck these in next because I'm just hazarding a guess to say that they will take longer to cook. Because, um, make sure you take all your rubbish out with you. No one likes rocking up to a campsite and finding uh, someone has spilt stuff everywhere and left all their rubbish everywhere. Particularly broken glass and stuff, I mean, it's not real pleasant. So jokes aside, we'll clean all that pasta up later. And don't just toss it in the bush thinking that uh, the wallabies or the possums will eat it because how many times have you been to a campsite and been annoyed by the wildlife and that just comes down to basically people feeding them. Never a good idea to feed wildlife, keep it wild. Enjoy looking at it, don't feed it. Guessing this might need maybe 12, 14 minutes, but uh, we'll see how it goes. We might have it a bit al dente so that uh, it doesn't have to cook forever. See, it's all in the lingo, Sam. All in the lingo. Why is this guy not on MasterChef, you're asking? I can hear you asking from here, is because he can't cook. He's just the one that's dumb enough to get lumped with it, so we're not eating two minute noodles at the end of the day. The uh, chopped vine ripened tomatoes. It's all about being vine ripened. Oops. But you don't see Jamie Oliver do that. <laughs> that would be about the point where he would swear. But being the uh, consummate professional that I am, I won't swear. I'll just uh, do it under my breath. Just a uh, little bit of the soup. Don't need a lot of moisture, a lot of liquid, because I am trying to reduce it down, but just find that that adds to the flavour. Stir it through. And this is probably now going to take 20 minutes or so just to reduce down, so I'll be back with you shortly. Guys, uh, just back again. Reducing down my sauce, pasta sauce. I don't even particularly know what I'm calling it. It's sort of a minestrone sort of slash pasta sauce. Who cares? It's not going to be presented brilliantly. There's going to be no garnish. Again, who cares? Just how it tastes. But the reason I'm back with you guys is that if you like your pasta al dente, we are pretty much done. It's looking 
the goods. It's gonna be damn hot, but I will have a taste. Yeah, still firm, perfect. So we'll get that out of the way. And while we've got this transier going, stir this so we don't burn it. Notice that uh, in the break, the producers came in and cleaned up a little bit. Good on them. Serves them right for not bringing beer, to be honest. Do this carefully, you're not meant to move this stove while it's cooking, but it's carefully. There's the flame, and we've used about half of that canister. And to turn this off, this is just a little simmering that they provide with you, and you also use it to extinguish, and it's just a quick. Easy. Put that windshield back on. Move that back out of the way. And guys, I think I'm aiming to reduce this by about two thirds. Put a fair bit of liquid in, so just probably take me another 10 minutes or so. So uh, I'll be back with you shortly. Back guys, this is looking a treat. I have reduced it down a considerable amount and I'll try and do this without burning myself but it's about two-thirds down I think that's about ready so I'm actually going to take that clear off the stove put the lid on keep the heat in not even going to bother to strain it because I've got super spoon that will do it for me I've got three plates on the go Uh, we'll set one up faster uh, Sauce. Even a garnish, guys. Not quite sure what this is going to be like, but I'm keen to try it. Just uh, use my fold up Kathmandu cutlery kit. Much to my surprise, it's good. It's good, it's got some kick to it. Chili flakes. It's great. Guys, thanks for watching. This has been Camping Chef Challenge. I'm Chris from tripping.com.au. If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel or check out www.tripping.com.au for some more fun and some serious camping and four-wheel driving information in Tasmania. Thanks again for watching.